For all the latest on the Saw Guy podcast, be sure to subscribe and don't forget that bell icon. Welcome to the Saw Guy podcast. As always, you all know, I am the Saw Guy. And you guys, <laughs> you all know about my horror collection. I am a collector of anything and everything horror movie stuff. Um, you all seen some of my figures and, you know, I've done some horror unboxings for you guys. But the one thing that I've never got into collecting was Waxworks Records. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, if you never heard of Waxworks Records, they're actually a pretty badass company. What they do is that they make records and vinyls and stuff like that. And they put their own special spin and artwork on it. And they put the scores of like our favorite horror movies on there. So they have like Friday the 13th, Halloween, and they always do something special. Um, I'm not sure if they do it monthly is for like, you know, a one-time limited release, but they do things like that and it's actually pretty cool. And the funny thing is, is that I never got into collecting them. And I think the reason is, is because I'm more of a visual person. I think if I see it in person, it looks badass. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna start collecting all that now. <laughs> but recently I picked up and got my own first copy of a Waxworks record. And the, the way it came about is actually kind of funny. Uh, most of you guys know that I'm pretty good at winning, like at the casinos and stuff like that. Uh, when it comes to giveaways, I'm like, eh, you know, I'll throw my name in the hat on that. The way I got my first waxwork record was because of a giveaway that my favorite horror blogger, Gabby Hernandez, was doing. And if you guys don't know who Gabby Hernandez is, y'all need to check her out, follow her on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, she has a YouTube page where she talks about anything and everything horror movies and she also talks about like her horror collection She's got a badass collection. You know, she's pretty cool, you know, <laughs> but anyways, uh, she was doing a giveaway and Knowing my luck at like, you know, semi winning not winning and especially with giveaways I hardly ever win so I'm just like oh, I'll throw my name in the hat and then you know here uh, When she announced the winner and said that saw guy won I was like, oh shit. All right, cool. <laughs> And, you know, truth be told, I really did tell her this, that, hey, this is going to be my first Waxwork Records. And hopefully there'll be many more to come. Um, I got it in the mail, so if you haven't seen it, here it is right here. It comes in this nice, really good uh, package. <laughs> um, they put, like, extra insulation and everything in there. And this is straight from Waxworks, you can tell. And it's pretty cool, you know? Um, I want to open this up and see what I got. I think I know what I got. I think I got a hint. <laughs> But I know um, I haven't seen any waxworks in person, you know, to be honest with you. So I'm like excited and I don't want to open it that way. Let me see if I can cut open the sides. 15 minutes later. Obviously you can tell this is my first waxwork record because I don't even know how to open the packaging. <laughs> there goes that piece. And more tape. Ah, that's what it is. I put a little lip so it doesn't squeak on out and everything. But, here we go, right? Dun, dun, dun. And it's... Oh, yeah. The Prowler. Holy shit, this looks badass in person. I'm like, oh, damn. Um, let me get this box out of the way here. Bye, box. All right, so we got that out of the way. And this is what we are left with. This is so badass. Uh, Gabby, if you're watching this, thank you again. This looks amazing in person. Um, you're contributing to me collecting a lot more horror movie stuff. <laughs> um, the thing that I like about Waxwork Records too, is that if you really don't know, is that with the records that they produce, these are the soundtracks based off the movies. So think of Devil's Rejects. That has like a lot of 70s rock music on there and stuff like that. But the music that you hear when you're watching the movie, you know, whether it's like the uh, anticipation music where it's like dun 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 and then it's like a loud wee, you know? <laughs> uh, that's what a score is. And that's what this is here, right here, for the Prowler. Man, this looks so badass. I'm gonna give you a close-up shot of it. Wait, there you go. And it's got a really good detail on the back. Man, this looks so badass. Um, you know, honestly, I y'all know how I am with my collections. I don't like to open anything up, but because this is such a special occasion, my first one, I'm gonna open this up. You know, and the funny thing is too, I do collect some records, but not a whole lot. I collect a lot of stuff from like the 60s and 70s. Uh, it's more or less because I like a lot of that music. Um, and you know it's got a lot of meaning behind it but let me take off the slip cover 
This is like the slip covers that they used to have back in the comics, you know, back in the 90s. And seeing it, oh man, this art is just so damn badass. Um, I wonder who the artist is. You know, I don't know if they put the artist on here. And let's open this up. This is the first time I've actually seen this. So, oh, that's so badass. Look at that. <laughs> you know, I just love to have this displayed out there, like on my coffee table or something, or even even on a shelf, just have it like right there, because this is so badass. I, I, I'm just amazed at this. And of course, with any vinyl record, you have it in between or in the sheets. So let me see. I wonder if it's a double. Oh, it is a double. And let's slide this out carefully. So this was on the right side, right there. That cover slip. Oop. Lose that. Now I doubt you'll probably see this because of the green screen, but I'm gonna slide this out so that way you guys can get a little glimpse of it gonna be like a different shade you'll probably be able to see through it because of the green screen but this is so badass I'm gonna post some pictures on here there'll be some pictures so you get you guys can see what it looks like but uh it's really badass for a record I'm just impressed with the quality and everything like that just holy shit and I don't know why I never started collecting these now we got that first record out of the way let's check out the other one and Ah, oh, so badass. And just, you even look at the old school label right there. <laughs> that looks like it was something from back of the day from when the Prowler actually did come out, man. That's, I just love the attention to detail that they do to these things. And with this one, of course this is gonna be green, so you will probably may not be able to see it. And I'll post pictures of this first one here for you guys, but this looks so badass right there. Damn. It's basically green and it has like blood splattered on it. It looks really cool, I I'm impressed with this. And uh, you know, I <laughs> honestly like, I I'm lost for words for this because this is so badass in, in the detail, man. Like, I don't know why I never got into collecting these. Um, you know, honestly, the funny thing is too, I do have a record player. I hardly ever use it because I mean, I got so many old records that, you know, I don't like playing because they're so old. <laughs> the detail on this is so amazing. And then there's even this little slip that tells you about the movie. And let's see, I don't know how to tell you this. Oh shit, this is actually from the movie. I was like, oh shit, this is pretty cool. This is pretty badass. Let's see, there was a knock on the door, editing door, sort it out. So it kind of gives you background about how they came up with the idea of composing the score and stuff like that for the movie. But this is so badass, like this alone, I would just put this in with a frame with the records. This is so legit, man. Waxworks, they, they do a phenomenal fucking detail on this. But yeah, for an unboxing for my first Waxwork records on the Prowler, uh, this is so badass. Like, I'm impressed, man. There, there's two records. The artwork is amazing. It matches like the original film and the amazing detail to it. And then, of course, I gotta show you the back part again. And then I'll open it up so that way you guys can see both sides. Just like that. Oh, it's so badass. <laughs> Um, thank you again, Gabby, for this because, I mean, honestly, this is so badass. I never win a giveaway, so. So if you're watching, thank you again for that. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I never win any giveaways. And if you guys don't know who Gabby Hernandez is, I'm gonna leave her information down on the description below for y'all. Follow her on Instagram, on Twitter, and also check out her YouTube. Be sure to subscribe over there. Uh, because she has a lot of these that she does unboxings very similar to what I do and she shows and plays the actual music so you hear the quality in them and like the, this is just amazing <laughs> um, I'm blown away and I really am because I mean not too many people really like scores of like horror movies and stuff because sometimes you know some of them are sound some of them are just like suspenseful music and not a lot of people like it but you know, a few of us here in the horror community, we enjoy the shit out of it. <laughs> I got a new addiction, I guess you could say. I gotta start collecting more of these Waxworks records. <laughs> but thank y'all for tuning in, and I'll catch y'all next time, as always.